Welcome back. In the last video, I showed you how you can add the get response form on your WordPress sidebar, on the WordPress footer, and on a WordPress page, as well as on a WordPress post. So if you want to do the same thing on Shopify, that's what we're going to do in this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your form on Shopify. For I already have the code for the form. I will copy it once again, and then I will go into Shopify. So I have a sample store here on my Shopify partners account. So log into your Shopify store. And if you're not already on this page, click on online store here. Okay. Once you click on online store, you will be on the same page as me. And the first thing we want to do is we want to add it on the front page. So let me just click here on customize once you are on this page. So you can see this is a theme that I'm using, but if you're using a different theme, the functionality will always just be the same as this. Okay. If anything is different, it won't be too deviated from this. So what I want to do is you can see this is just a sample store. So what I want to do is I want to add, I want to add the get response form down here. So what I will do is I will click down here to add a section. So you can see these are all the elements that you can add on your web page. So I will click custom HTML and you can see it's added there. And then I will click on add. And now I'm on the custom HTML. So I will click on it and then I will add the HTML code that I need to add. So you can see I already have this here. So I can actually use the heading. I can use the heading and I can also leave this so you can edit them if you want to edit them. So if you want to edit, use HTML to format your text that is here. Okay. And you can also edit this text can be used to share information. You can edit that there. And once you do that, you can click there to save. And once you click on save, you'll see that your form has been added on the home page. So if you want to add it on a different page, you see here, up here, you have the different pages that you can edit. Okay. This represents your menu. So if you have other pages, you can add them here. So let's see if you want to add it on a new page. Maybe you want to create a new page and add the form. Let's see how you can do that. So let's go back. So here under pages, let's click on pages and I want to add a new page. So you can see I don't have any pages, but I will click add a page and let's call it sign up. And I can write something here. And I can click here to show HTML. And when I click to show HTML, I can paste in, I can paste in my get response code here. So you know where to get the code once you say, once you create your form and publish it, you'll get the option here and you can just copy and then you bring that inside here. And then I will save. And then I can click here to view the page that I've just created. And you can see there we have it. Okay. There you have your form. And you can choose to come back here and edit it 
accordingly. Okay, so in this video you've seen how you can how you can add the get response sign up form on Shopify. In the last video you saw how to add it on WordPress. So that's it for this. In the next video, let's continue on and we're going to look at the other types of forms that we have on get response. So I will see you in the in the next video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, okay?